Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to hopefully resolve the volume bitmap is incorrect error you're getting when running a check disk utility scan. So the volume bitmap is just a file within the NTFS file system and it's basically used to cluster the volume and in the event that it's become corrupted or is triggering error messages such as the one that you are coming across on this video. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully go about resolving it without too much of a hassle and we're going to go ahead and jump right into it and we're going to start by opening up the start menu type in cmd best match come back with command prompt right click on that and then select run as administrator if you receive a user account control prompt you want to left click on yes now I'm going to have a couple commands in the description of my video. I want you guys to copy the first one from my description. So just hide over it and then control C. Or if you prefer to use your mouse, just right click and copy over. It doesn't really matter to me. And you want to go up to the top part of the command prompt after you've copied my first command. Right click on it. Left click on edit and then left click on paste to paste it in. Hit enter on your keyboard. Please note that I have a C followed by the colon in the check disk here, so if your Windows installation is on a different drive letter, you just want to swap it out. But anyway, we will have to restart our system, so we're just going to tap the Y key on our keyboard. Hit Enter, so close out of here. And once you've closed out of any open programs or applications, just go ahead and restart the system here. Okay, so once that is done, now you want to go open up the start menu again, type in CMD, right click on the command prompt option and then run as administrator, select yes. Now you want to go type in SFC, space forward slash scan now, scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front, hit enter on your keyboard, this will take a few minutes to run so just be patient. Okay, so once that's done, just close it here, restart your computer, and that should be about it. So as always, thank you guys for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.